In October 2013, the Washington County Board of County Commissioners set a public hearing on a proposed $30 vehicle registration fee for June 3rd, 2014. June 17th is the second public hearing in this proposal. If implemented, Washington County's portion of the fee revenue would be used for road maintenance. The cities of Washington County would be provided flexibility to spend their funds on maintenance or safety improvements in the public road right-of-way. It should be noted that if the fee is implemented, the county revenue would be used for the road fund system on major county roads. The county also has the Urban Road Maintenance District, which maintains neighborhood streets in urban unincorporated areas. Urmed is adequately funded. We are talking about the major county road system for the vehicle registration fee. Roads such as Cornell, Shoals Ferry, Twalton Sherwood, and rural arterials such as River Road. Those are the roads for which funding is not keeping pace with inflation. It will cost millions of dollars more to fix our roads in the future than to do preventative maintenance today. It should also be noted that we completed a pavement management assessment in 2013 to make sure that we are employing best management practices and spending our funds in the most prudent manner possible. We presented that report to the board last year and it's available on our website. The following presentation provides an overview of the proposed fee. Roads are important. They get us where we need to be and are a critical lifeline for emergency responders. Maintaining our roads has become increasingly difficult. Funding is not keeping up with rising costs. Cities and the county are having to defer preventative road maintenance. The county's current deferred road maintenance needs are estimated at more than $10.5 million. This is projected to double in the coming years as major rehabilitation and reconstruction becomes necessary to fix neglected roads. Putting off road maintenance is like not going to see the dentist for regular checkups until you need a root canal. I'm Pam Trace. I'm the Executive Director of Westside Economic Alliance. Westside Economic Alliance is a business alliance. We advocate for the economic vitality of Washington County and the west side of Clackamas County. The vehicle registration fee is a, a very import, important issue to us at Westside Economic Alliance. A recent study showed that 99% of the residents in Washington County believe that our county is a good to excellent place to live. And part of the reason that they think that is that we have reasonable roads to travel for freight, for our own personal mobility, getting to and from work. That's a very important feature. And to be able to maintain the, the, the transportability, if you will, we need to make sure that we maintain our roads. And to maintain our roads in this county, we have to have a vehicle registration fee that will give us the funds that are, that are necessary to keep the roads maintained, to keep us getting to and from our jobs, to keep us getting our children to school, to keep our freight moving in an appropriate manner. So the Westside Economic Alliance has endorsed a vehicle registration fee up to the state allowed level of $43. We feel strongly that this is an important piece and we encourage the Washington County Board of Commission to move toward a, an appropriate level of funding to keep our roads maintained. Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue responded to more than 25,000 calls last year in Washington County alone. Growing traffic congestion is slowing emergency responders down when people need us most. As a result, our travel times have been increasing to emergencies. More cars on the road and poor road conditions result in more traffic accidents. TVFNR responded to more than 3,000 motor vehicle collisions last year alone. In fact, that's approximately one out of every 10 emergency calls that we respond to. Roads in Washington County are one of our most important assets. For quality of life, our economy, and emergency response when seconds count, it's critical that we have a safe and reliable transportation system. The entire region is talking about this problem. Here are just a few recent news headlines. So how do we close our road maintenance funding gap? One of the first steps in addressing our road maintenance issue is looking at existing funding sources. The long and short of it is that we have different pots of money. Each has a specific purpose and different restrictions on how funds can be spent. As shown here, road maintenance is currently funded through a state and local gas tax, state vehicle registration fee, and a weight mile tax on heavy vehicle. Simply put, the challenge comes down to rising costs in a larger and older transportation system and a growing backlog of deferred road maintenance. Our primary funding source, the gas tax, has not kept up with costs and is projected to decline as drivers switch to more fuel-efficient cars and continue to drive less. 
The costs of asphalt and other materials are rising faster than inflation. Washington County's population and economy have grown, and so has our transportation system, which now costs more to maintain. The time has come for us to get ahead of this problem, which will save us money later. It's important that we maintain our system in a timely manner. One dollar spent on preventative maintenance now can save five to ten dollars in repair or reconstruction costs later. This chart shows the gap between projected funding and needs. This chart shows how pavement conditions decline rapidly over time if not properly maintained. Our county roads are generally in good condition today, but are steadily declining. The red and purple lines show roads that are in poor condition now. As seen here, road conditions are projected to get worse over the next 15 to 20 years, assuming current funding. Note the increase in red and purple lines indicating roads in poor to very poor condition. It is critical to avoid the tipping point where maintenance is no longer an option and reconstruction is required. If we defer maintenance much longer, we'll need to raise a lot more revenue for future repairs and reconstruction. Washington County is working to employ cost-effective best practices realizing all possible efficiencies and prioritizing limited funding. But managing costs alone won't close the gap. The vehicle registration fee is a preferred funding option to address road maintenance issues. Gas tax revenues are expected to decline over time as drivers switch to more fuel-efficient vehicles and continue to drive less. State law does not allow general fund revenues to be used for road maintenance. Without a countywide utility billing system, collecting a monthly road fee would be problematic. Property taxes for many residents are already at statutory limits. A vehicle registration fee offers a number of advantages. The fee is user-based and complements existing sources. Revenue would be relatively stable over time. The fee would also be practical and cost-effective to administer. And funds will stay here in Washington County for local needs. State law allows counties to adopt a fee of up to $43 per year. Certain vehicles would be exempt from the county fee as shown here. Washington County is proposing a $30 per year fee on most vehicles owned by residents and businesses and a $17 per year fee for motorcycles. This is to address its road maintenance backlog and needs. Collection will be cost effective and practical through the DMV. Here are preliminary revenue estimates. Washington County would receive 60% of the funds and cities would receive 40% distributed based on population. State law requires that funds be used exclusively on public roads. Washington County will use its share of the funding specifically for road maintenance. This will keep future repair costs down. Cities can select their own priorities, but their funds are restricted to public roads. Roads, they're, they're the heart of this county. It gets people to their work, gets kids to school, it gets EMTs to help people, and really important for all the employers here, it gets their goods to market. Without good roads, we're gonna fall behind and we can't afford that. Gas tax revenue is falling as cars become more efficient, we don't have the income stream to keep pace with the needs that we have. I think the vehicle registration is extremely fair because it only impacts the people who use the roads. And that's the best thing you can do. It's, it's proven to work, it's simple to administer, and it's fair. Well, in terms of the impact on Beaverton folks, it's essential that the county, where it has to maintain roads, matches what the city's doing. We're very aggressive, we fund it, we sacrifice in other places to keep our roads in good repair. That's part of the quality of life that we deliver. And that's probably why this region is known for keeping things in good working order. And that attracts jobs, it attracts employers, and you can't let that slide. We can put this off, we can pay for it later. That's the wrong way to go for a number of reasons. A, people are gonna get unhappy, and B, it's gonna cost five to 10 times more to fix the same road if you wait 15, 20, 25 years. So we just need to tackle it now so that it doesn't become so overwhelming that we can never get out of a pit. One of the benefits of living in Washington County is our ability to attract businesses that pay family wage jobs. An important aspect of that attractiveness is our ability to maintain our road system. Unfortunately, the primary source of funding for this road system is the gas tax, and it is projected to decline over the next several years. At the same time, the demand for our road system is increasing. If we want to continue to keep our competitive edge, we must find a stable source for funding our road system. The vehicle registration fee is our best source for stable funding. Well, transportation funding in, in Tualatin and in Washington County is really important. I hear that wherever I go. Tr congestion, the ability to have more roads, the ability to move more quickly. And the taxpayers and the citizens in Tualatin and in Washington County 
for years have supported funding transportation. Again, though, the problem is if you build it and don't maintain it, eventually that goes away. So you build a house, you spend a lot of money on a house, but if you don't maintain the roof, you end up having to replace that roof. We also know that the replacement costs can run three to 10 times greater than the maintenance costs. And so I think it's our responsibility as fiduciaries to maintain what we've built. Problem is, we don't have the funding to be able to build and maintain to the degree of need that we have. And so in order to protect the investment that our taxpayers have already made, in order to be able to continue to expand our transportation system, we've got to be able to have additional funding to maintain what we have or we lose it. We definitely need to be proactive in managing uh, the condition of our roads. Currently, we enjoy pretty good road conditions in the county. Um, if we don't maintain them, though, that will change. And it's going to be a lot more expensive to fix rather than maintain. Both the Urban Road Maintenance District and the Rural Roads Operations and Maintenance District Advisory Committees have urged the Board of County Commissioners to adopt the vehicle registration fee. Definitely nobody wants to pay more in taxes. Uh, however, I believe strongly that the county needs to act soon to address the issue of sustainable, stable road maintenance funding. Let's commit to spend a little bit now so we can save more down the road. This concludes our presentation. As noted, the proposed fee has been endorsed by the Rural Road Operations and Maintenance Advisory Committee, the Urban Road Maintenance District Advisory Committee, in the West, West Side Economic Alliance, as well as the Washington County Coordinating Committee, the Hillswood Chamber of Commerce, and others.